Hi Crafty Peace, it's Angela Holt with Angela Holt Designs. I'm here to show you another fabulous reason why you should get the new Bow It All 2.0. I'm going to show you how to make beautiful flowers using the Bow It All. See how beautiful these are? I love these. They're so cute. And see, you can make them as small, as cute any designs that you're wanting look at these little bows aren't they cute so I'm gonna show you exactly how I make these okay so you're gonna need um, the bow at all you can use the um, the first version or the version 2.0 I would prefer you to use the version 2.0 because it allows you also to do a, um, a triple layer bow like you see here okay so um and of course all of this is available in my new craft market on my website www.angelaholtzdesigns.com i encourage you to visit there everything is in one place you can click and shop around and get inspiration and get shop my favorite products in my craft market so i'll put a link in the description box down below so let's get started making the flower um it really all depends on the laces that you use and the, that lend you the different styles of flowers. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is, um, excuse the writing there. I used my hand as a memo pad. Okay. So, um, I'm going to make, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a two inch flower that's going to be my first um, size okay all right now I'm going to use this really pretty ribbon I have here um, it's just um, a Venisi type embroidered lace and to build a flower is all about the number of loops you want lots of loops to make your flower. So you're just going to start off here and you're going to constantly one loop, two loops, okay, three loops, four loops. It keeps getting hung up in this other ribbon. Okay. Five, six, seven. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to do about seven loops. You're going to switch it over just like you would any other bow. This is going to be a rather thick one. You're going to switch hands. You're going to bring this under and do the lock and seed. And you can do there then you're gonna take it off and you're gonna use your now where did my scissors go oh. you're gonna snip off the tails just like so and what I like to do before I get started to build my flower is I like to glue the tails down like this and I'm using my detailed glue gun that is also available uh, in my craft market and then now what you're going to do all of those petals you're going to pull apart like this pull 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 and then you're going to kind of twist it around this all depends on the type of lace or um, ribbon that you use okay so this is my base 
flower. As you see here, I'm just pulling and shaping the flower like this. Okay. So you see here all that beautiful detail in that lace. Isn't it pretty? Just pull, pull, pull. And because you've done the the seed lock, you have no worries about it coming undone. Okay? So there's that. And then we're going to do a center. And I'm just going to use some seam binding. Now, you're going to want to, um, since we've done this at a 2 inch, I would suggest doing the next one. You can do a one and a half, which that's what I'm going to do. One and a half. I'm just going an inch smaller. Okay, again, it's all about layers. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Let's do one more. Eight. Okay, pull it up. You're going to bring it around. Pull it taut. You're going to switch hands. Oop. Ah. Bring it up through there. Do the C lock. Go ahead and trim. Pull it off. Look at that. The more the layers, the more natural the little flower will become. Isn't that cute? It's so darling. Okay, so now just if you want. Just pull. You can put that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue using the detailed glue gun. Just put a little strip of glue right there. As you see. Then I'm going to put another one. I'm just gluing these ends together like that. Just cupping them in like that. And then I'm going to glue this to the center of this, like that. And hold it. Then I'm going to glue. A button in the center of that and you have my friends a beautiful ribbon flower made with the bow it all isn't that beautiful see aren't they cute okay I'm gonna show you another one now this one is going to be unique because it's a different way to approach it. Um, this is just a, a regular lace and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back to two inches. So you're just going to unscrew there and we're going to move it back. Remember, these are half-inch increments, 
So it's really easy to have all of your flowers symmetrical and all the same size. So again, it's all about the number of loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. I've done a lot on this one, okay? So you're just going to do like you've done before. Tighten it just like that. Switch hands. Do your lock and see like this. You can go ahead and snip off the excess. Pull this off. Now, what I'm going to do, since this is already fiber looking, I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to go through each petal. like this and what you're going to do is you're going to create um, like a wispy um, torn look and um, eyelash uh, trim would be awesome for this uh, these types of frilly laces would be a great idea for these as well. So you're just going to go through each petal and you're just going to snip it. Okay. the fibers and if there are some you still need to snip you can go through there and snip those just make sure there we go you can actually be rough with it just like that because you want that torn look this. Okay. There we go. And you can put a beautiful pearl center. Um, just a simple little dainty flower. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put that in the center. This is a one inch flower that I did and you're just going to glue, oop, drop my glue gun. I just 
gonna glue put that in the center there pull like that press look at that isn't that gorgeous a simple beautiful flowers that are easy and quick with your zutter bow at all these are awesome there's no hand sewing involved it's just simply wrapping these and can you imagine big chunky juicy ones like this huh should I go bigger Let's see. huh I don't know <laughs> I'm tempted though Let's see. Do I have any more of that place right here with me? Let's try a bigger flower real quick. We're going to do one with regular white ribbon. And let's do. Let's do a big three inch, three, four inch. Let's see, one, two, three. It's three and a quarter. Let's see. You can get as big as nine and a half. So, all right. So it's all about the number of the loops and see um, hold on hold on hold on hold on idea idea okay let me back it off hang on this is a cool idea yes you can make them as big as you want but I just had an idea why don't we make a flower that the you know it already has the layers of the big and small and we don't have to do two separate flowers if you don't want to let's try that okay so we're going to start off here in the back like this then we're going to do this again do this again do that again oops just keep going back and forth like this oops Like that. Just keep going back and forth like this. Doing the figure eight. Go around. And then what we're going to do, okay. hold on y'all, I got to get back to the back. This is the first time I've tried this. Okay, so, all right, here we go. All right, let's pull it tight. This is like several, several layers. Okay, I'm going to trim this off because I don't need that much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trim this one off. Okay. So we're going to switch hands. Pull it tight. 
do a Seavock. Nope, did I do it? Nope. I knew I didn't because it didn't feel locked. So we're going to do switch hands. There we go. There's my sea lock. All right. We're going to lift that off. And look at there. If you kept going and going and going, you could have built a beautiful flower. Because you would have your longer petals on the outside and your shorter petals on the inside. But that's a beautiful bow. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful, stunning bow. And see? You can do that. Make little ones. Look here. We can put this little one in the center there. Let's do that real quick. Okay. We can. So what I want you to do. I want you to practice with your bow at all. If you don't have one, get one because these things will help you for those that have trouble with their hands or making bows like myself um, that have trouble doing that can do this. They can make their bows. And so I'm looking for a piece of felt. Um, they can make their bows and... I'll just use a piece of lace. And it doesn't hurt the hands. I mean, because it's all controlled in this area here. And right now, I'm just creating a little back for the bow. I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to just put some glue down. Trim it just a little bit more. This is just to firm everything is down. Okay, flip it over on your resist mat. Get your tails straightened out. Press twist if you have to. Get your little bow going here. Like that. So again, just practice. That's what I did. I practiced. I can't tell you how many times I've taken it off, started over, taken it off, started over. And I have created lots of beautiful things by doing that because I have just practiced and practiced. And I'm still not perfect at it. But I still can make some awesome bows and not have to worry, you know, everything's symmetrical and it's just, I love it. I love it. So, as you see there, it's not a perfect bow, but it's a bow. But you can make as tiny, I mean, because this one is where I cut the petals, the loops apart, and I made this little tiny um, bow here and see you can put it in the center and just build your flowers like this just make little ribbon flowers and these make it so much easier to do I mean look at this that silk ribbon with some sheer and a beautiful piece of bling it's just gorgeous and that's the one we made just a few minutes ago these two so Get your bow it all and uh, make some awesome flowers. I mean, look, all we have to do is just place a gorgeous piece of bling in the center or a nice little pearl. Just something sweet and dainty. Like that. And then you can take some beautiful ribbon here. 
add some tails in the back and look at that. How darling is that? So, I hope this has inspired you to look at your bow at all in a different perspective. Not only can it make bows, but it can make you some beautiful flowers. And uh, play with your uh, play with fibers. Play with different uh, trims and laces, and I mean, even rip some burlap and blue jean or whatever and do it. But play with your product and do your bows and just create and that's exactly what this product is intended for you to do and it's a wonderful innovative design and I want to thank Zutter for bringing it out and also Stacy Nichols um, it's truly an amazing amazing product and I absolutely love it so if you want to order one please visit my website at www.angelaholtzdesigns.com and you will find a link in the menu bar that's called the craft market and um, I encourage you to read uh, the information about my store first before you order so you can get familiar with it and uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll be more than happy to ask them and as always please share like and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you and until next fabulous tutorial bye bye <laughs>